this right here is my modded Wii U. And I thought it might be fun to show you guys what I have on here, so let's start by booting it up. Okay, so this is a modded Wii U. I modded it with Tiramisu, but then I'm using um, Aroma, which is fairly new. It came back, back in October, I think, when the beta came out for it. Anyway, let's start with what's this hopper, I guess. We have the Mii Maker, this thing, whatever. Some settings, we menu. And Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 came with the system. I bought this second hand because I did not want to um, risk breaking my uh, Wii U or my eShop game. So let's go into my DS games. We have a bunch of them here. Uh, the way I got these on here is by something called... What is it called? I could begin this wrong, but I think it's called Game Injection. I'm not exactly sure how it works. This is what I think how it works. It takes a regular ROM file, right? And then it takes that ROM out and then puts a different ROM in and then you install it through uh, Whoop Installer, as I'll show you in a little bit. So yeah, we got Mario Kart DS, Mario Party DS, Okami Den, with a sequel to Okami, I think. We have a Press Land Dialogue Box, Custom Mobile Arena, Mario Kart DS, and finally Metro Prime Hunters, which for the love of everything, Nintendo remake Metro Prime Hunters for the Switch with the with new controls. Metro Prime Hunters could be a, could have been a great game if it wasn't for the stupid touchscreen controls. And the other control options did not really work all that good. So yeah, tangent over. Moving on to the Wii games, we got a couple of Nintendo, mainly Nintendo ones here, like Wii Party, Galaxy 2, Wii Party A, Elibit. Z Zoda Twilight Princess, it's got Sonic Colors, Driver San Francisco, Animal Crossing, uh, New, Mar New Mario Bros. Wii U, not Wii U, just Wii U, Wii, Wii Sports, and then Wii Sports Resort. And finally, we're on to my five GameCube games on here. We have Mario Party 4, Pokemon Coliseum, Kirby Air Ride, Mario Party 6, and Super Mario The Thousand Year Door, which is a great game. And over in built in, these are just the apps that the Wii U. Uh, this is where I keep all the homebrew apps like, under uh, title 8. I don't know why I called the folder 8 instead of homebrew. I don't know. I'm going to leave some links down below on how, how to uh, get injection working. There are two different programs you can use. So, show you mod your Wii U. I say if you're going to emulate uh, Nintendo games, I think the Wii U is probably the best bet if you want it on a big TV and not a computer screen. So that's it for today's video guys, if you guys like this video and want to see more, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe, ring that bell, and I'll see you guys next time.